So the rainy season is just beginning again here in Malaysia. We've had a few days rain, uh, you know, last week. Everything's already got quite damp. I thought it'd be a good time to cover a friction fire method uh, using bamboo. Not, not the fire saw, we've done that before, uh, but you know, how to do it with um, the bow drill. Because here's the thing with bamboo, you know, it has a lot of advantages. It's got this, uh, this skin here that, you know, um, keeps, it, keeps it more or less dry inside. Not completely, but more or less. Um, you know, so that's a big advantage. It's very easy to spot in the jungle, but you know, it's just these great huge columns of bamboo, you can't really miss them. Um, and you know, there's a lot of it around. This is the most common form of bamboo that you, you find in, in this part of Malaysia anyway. Uh, you know, people just call it field bamboo or bulu paddy. And here's the thing, if I was, you know, trying to do a fire saw now with this particular type of bamboo, I would not be that confident of getting an ember. And the two reasons for that, one, is because this stuff is like very thick walled. You know, I can I can hardly, I, I can chop through it, but it's difficult to chop through. Uh, you know, it's pretty thick stuff. Uh, and the other reason is it's not totally dry. You know, it, it's more or less dry, but it's not totally dry. So it's a, tr it's, uh, you know, I wouldn't really want to try with a fire saw, to be honest, with this, with this stuff. With thinner walled bamboo, it's a different story. However, there's another way you can do it, and that is to use the bow drill because the bow drill gives you mechanical advantage so even with a material like bamboo which is which is hard stuff you know you can still make it work but the thing is this you know if your the way you set up the bow the, your bow drill system is incorrect with bamboo you're not going to get an ember it's going to be very frustrating and you're going to curse the fact that you even tried you know but if you set it up correctly it's not that difficult and that's kind of what i wanted to show you today it's just how to set up the systems you know, so that it works. So I'll grab the bits of bamboo that we need and take them back to the house. It'll be easier to show you there how to put it all together. But you know, this is the thing about bamboo. Even on wet, damp days like today, it doesn't matter with bamboo. It will work. You don't need to dry the material because, you know, the skin has, has kept it dry. So, you know, it's, it's a good technique to know. But it'll work only if you set it up correctly. Okay, let's start with a bow. Uh, if you just leave, you know, a couple of these sort of knuckles on at either end, that'll that'll hold the rope in place. You know, you, I mean, bamboo is perfect for a bow. The only thing I'd mention is you get these sharp ends here, and you can just take off the, the real edge of them by banging them on a rock or something, because uh, bamboo gets very very sharp. Okay, and here is an example of, um, you know, that knot I was I was showing in the last video of how to, you know, how you can tie a bowline, um, you know, easily. And, you know, it's quite useful. This is quite a good application for it. So, you know, there you go. You've got your, your bowline tied on. And you can check the earlier video to see how that's done. At the other end, I don't tie it on. I, just, I sort of twit, well, I do tie on, but I, I, I just sort of wrap it um, and then just put an overhand knot. And then if I have to, if I haven't got the tension right, you know, it's nice and easy to undo it and redo it again, but that's the bow. For the half board, you just want to get two pieces of bamboo, you know, cut it from the same uh, part of the bamboo, and that way the curvature is the same, and, and they'll dovetail together like this. Um, and then, you know, we can just sort of just straighten the edge there. You don't need to tie these together because the force of your foot is, is going to hold them in place. But what you want is this sort of, uh, you need a reasonably deep drop because if you just use one piece like this, um, the, the problem is the ash has kind of got nowhere to go it, and it sort of smothers everything. So, you know, I find anyway that, you know, if you use two, you, you get much better results. Okay, now we want a, a bearing block and, you know, here you can see the node. That's the, the sort of tough bit, you know, that's solid you know, in, inside. And that's, uh, you know, that's what we're going to use, um, uh, you know, to, to stop the spindle going up through it. And then I want a handhold here. So I want to cut it there. And I'm going to cut it about here. Let's take that knuckle off.
Okay, so when you've got it to about this, uh, you know, got it nearly right, you can just sort of tidy it up a little bit with a knife. Again, you know, I'm just sort of chipping away at this because <coughs> I don't want it to, to split on me. Okay, that's going. And there's our bearing block. And again, I've got these sharp edges here. I can just bang that on the ground, you know, and just get rid of it. Less risk of me cutting myself. There's the bearing block. Okay, now we want to make the spindle, and I'm going to use this node here as the end that goes into the half board. And what we're going to do is try and carve it out here. Excuse my dogs. How's it, guys? And the, the reason I'm doing it this way and not, you know, whacking it with the parang again is I just don't want it to split. But that's going to be our working end. And you can see it's pretty gnarly at the moment. So we'll just tidy that up. And you also see this is like slightly bent as well. So I'm going to cut it about here. Okay. And one thing to do here is to take this skin off because otherwise the, it's too slippy and the, the rope will, you know, isn't able to grip. Okay, so there's our spindle and the bamboo's done quite a lot of work for us already, you know, it's just shaped the right way. I've gone a bit too thin here, but that's okay. It should still be all right. Um, so let me put a bit more of a point on the end. Okay, so we've got our bearing block and our uh, spindle. Now, what we're going to do is put an insert in between. Uh, you can use rattan's grate for this, uh, but you know, basically it's going to be set up like this. And the reason for doing this is because you've got to put a lot of power into this. And because this is so hard, it can bind up. It can bind up at either end. And with this insert, it, it, it just reduces all the friction you know, up at the top here, which is, you know, where you don't want any friction. So, you know, it's quite important to do this because, you know, I've found, I've tried using, um, you know, bamboo where you're using a node at either end and, and it's much, much, much more difficult. So what I'm going to use here for the insert is, you know, from the, one of the offshoots because this stuff is more or less solid. And let me just cut it, I'll show you. Oh, it's tough stuff. You can see there, it's only got a very small hole in it. And you, know, you might say, well, why don't you just use that for the spindle? The problem with this piece is it's just too, um, too small a diameter. So you, what you find is you can't, it's more difficult to get enough force to, to turn it. And again, you know, it can bind up on you. Okay, that's burning in okay. I'm just gonna sharpen up this point a little bit. It's such hard stuff, you know, it's um, difficult to get it to dig in. Okay, so now we wanna put in the notch and we're gonna put the notch through both pieces of the, the bamboo. Just marry them up. Okay, and there's our notch. You can see it goes through both pieces. And that just gives us you know, a deeper drop for the ash to fall into. I'm just gonna use a sheath from the bamboo itself to collect the ash on. Yeah, 
uh, I made this spindle too short, so I'm having trouble controlling it, and I'm uh, dragging my knuckles on the floor, which isn't very nice. So uh, we've done a longer one, so we'll just burn that in. But in a way, that kind of shows the demonstrates what I was trying to say about this technique is you've got to get everything kind of right because it's hard enough to do when everything's right but if you get an element of it wrong you know it becomes uh, really really difficult. Okay let's burn this one in. Okay ready to roll again. <clears throat> Bamboo tinder bundles, I was saying in an earlier video, can be a bit tricky to light up because you know they're a bit damp and bamboo seems to behave in a slightly different way. It smokes horrible. But you've um, sometimes it's worth just sort of letting them dry a little bit like this. And then when you want them to flame, you just blow really hard and get a lot of oxygen in. And if you don't do it right, the whole thing will just burn away from you. So now I'm just kind of letting this dry out a bit. Just keeping it going. It's not a hurry really.
keeping a little bit of compression on. That's ready to roll. You know, it's got quite a nice burn time, this. So that's the bamboo bow drill, and it's a good one to know because it will work in instances where the fire saw won't. So, you know, it's, it's a very useful backup method to know. Now, the other great thing about it is everything you see here you know, comes from bamboo, you know, apart from the paracord. And bamboo kind of lends itself to the bow drill. You know, the bow is a doddle to make, you know, the half board. Uh, you know, similarly very easy. My sort of ember catcher, that's from a sheath of, you know, the bamboo. And, you know, I mean, it all just comes from bamboo. So, you know, it's a, it's a great technique in that way. The problem with this technique is if you get an element of it wrong, it, it isn't going to work. And, you know, that's what I did earlier when I was using, um, you know, a drill bit that was just too short and it, it was messing up my, the bow action and I couldn't get an ember. But, you know, yeah, yeah everybody makes mistakes. Um, but once you get it right, you know, it's really very effective. One last thing to say about this method, though, is that it's not like a normal bow drill set. You know, I would reckon from this set I might get three embers, but that's probably about it, because everything's wearing out, and it's, cause it's all to do with the nodes, and you can see that's burnt through. That's my, um, you know, my bearing block, so, you know, that's only got a few goes left in it, unless I put a metal insert in or something. Uh, you know, and similarly, with the drill end, you can see I've gone through the node now, so I'm going to get this like a, a hollow drill and because this material is so hard, <clears throat> if it becomes completely hollow, it becomes really hard to spin it in the half board and it tends to bind up. Um, you know, so it, I mean, I wouldn't recommend trying to do it this way once you've lost the node here, you know, go and cut another piece of bamboo because it just gets too difficult. Um, but if you set everything up correctly, you know, it works, it works really well and, uh, you know, you get your fire. Thank <laughs> you.